Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World. My name is Shaq. We have another fantastic afternoon in Sydney, Australia. Today, I'll be doing a quick walk around my van. I'll be telling you guys how I set my van up to put my motorcycles inside so I can take to the racetrack and back, take it to the mechanics and back. Um, but before that, guys, please smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I'll adjust my camera quickly for you guys. So what car is this? This is a 2003 model Toyota Hiace van. And this is the short wheel base version. How do you know it's the short wheel base version? Very easy, you look at this area. Okay. If it's this up to here, this area is up to here. That's the long wheel base version. If it's up to here, it's the short wheel base version. So I'll show you guys the setup I got inside the van. So I bought straps from MCA to tie the bike down so the bike doesn't go anywhere. Straps for the handlebars, straps for the rear. I bought a rack so I can push the motorcycle up and down the van. George from Venom Trailers, he's the one who fabricated all of this. He's a great guy, great customer service. He looked after him very well and the pricing was great as well. So. As you guys can see, he actually bolted this one on to the van, so it won't go anywhere. Once you strap your handlebar to this, it won't go anywhere. So is that side. This one's for the left hand side, that one's for the right hand side. He bolted the front wheel choke on as well, and there's a custom plating underneath the van, so this doesn't go anywhere. Once you put your front wheel here, the bike won't move around, as you guys can see. So, George from Venom Trailers, he bolted this on as well, as you guys can see. So it won't go anywhere. Once you strap your rear tire or the rear foot peg, the bike won't go anywhere. This side as well, as you guys can see. So that's basically my van. What I'll do is I'll show you guys the inside of the van. One second. The door panel is in good condition, the windows work, but it's not power windows anyway, it's manual, as you guys can see. The seats are in pretty good condition, but there's a small rip here. The floor is a bit damaged, but it's not much. You can't expect much from an old car. Um, the steering is in good condition, the windscreen, there's no cracks, nothing. It's got about 260,000 kilometers, which is a lot of case for an old car. But the reason I decided to purchase this car is because it's a Toyota. Toyotas, as long as it's been maintained on time, it's been serviced on time, you shouldn't have many issues. Parts are cheap to find. They're very reliable cars. These cars are basically unbreakable as long as you service them on time. So I'll move around to the front. As you guys can see, the van is pretty dirty. I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up properly. I haven't washed this van the last five months. You guys might be asking, why didn't I wash it? Well, the reason is I couldn't care less about cars. Unless if it's a fast car or a Porsche 911, McLaren, a Nissan Skyline GTR, I couldn't care less if it's anything else. I'm more into my motorcycles. I like fast bikes. I like to change bikes every year or two. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys the passenger side. The door panel is in good condition, no cracks on the dash, the floor is in better condition this side, even the seat is much better in this side as well, passenger side. Guys, I'll be having more toys coming into my garage as well, please smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.